catch for a touchdown. This is as good as it gets, see. That's it. If they put toe tap in the dictionary, Webster's, I'm going to have a picture of Juju in there. But I got to get my wide receiver coach. We used to put a mat in the back of the end zone in training camp. And I used to be like, tell the young guys, this is a waste of time. You'll never need this. <laughs> <laughs> but then I'd be like, oh, my goodness. It teaches you really how to let your body go 100% just calm. It's hard to do in competition. This is hard, too. Chiefs or Ravens, Patrick yeah, Mahomes. He's shown us he can make any throw but a no-look pass. All right, see, so you've Man. seen it happen 100 times. Maybe on the NFL practice field. Maybe in NBA games. How many times in an NFL game you've seen a no-look pass like that? That's the that's the first time it was effective. I think some of these sorry quarterbacks, they're throwing some no-looks to the side. This was impressive. I've seen some guys do it in practice. Brett Favre, Aaron Rodgers does it in practice, people talk about. But doing it under duress, in the pocket, throwing to that open window, believing that the wide receiver is going to be on the same page. Amazing stuff. Finally, Baker Mayfield shows off his arm with a 51-yard strike to Jarvis Landry. See, this was a game that you called for Fox. You saw this live. You thought that other throw was impressive. <laughs> Man, this right here, the cornerback falling off, Ed Reed in coverage on the crosser. Eric. Coming across, Eric Reed coming across. His brother also <laughs> plays in the league. Yeah, him too. <laughs> Dying by Baker Mayfield. 55 yards on a rope. Oddly enough, Eric Reed's brother does also play in the league. Yep. His name's Jordan for the Texans. Yep. They, these were the two best throws in the... Justin, pardon me. We're, I'm just, we're all screwed up. Those are the two no, best no, throws you in the are. league all That's day. part of my brand. I ain't supposed <laughs> to get the names and all that. Right. right. There's two guys whose last names are spelled different. They're brothers. It's an odd coincidence. <laughs> That's part of my brand. <laughs> Time for in or out. The Saints clinch the NFC South with a win over the Bucks. New Orleans is 11-2, tied with the Chiefs and Rams for the best record in the league. See, are you in or out on the Saints being the best team in the NFL. I'm in in the Saints in a few reasons. I love their run defense. I believe it's it, it's not hype. It's not just the stats, the way they can limit you and make you one-dimensional. Sean Payton coaching at home with Drew Brees. That's a lethal combination. So if I can get to the Super Bowl, Super Bowl happens to play in Atlanta, same conditions as New Orleans plays at home. Yes, they've been the most consistent team in the NFL 2018. And I also know for you a big part of it was now with the Rams lost, the Saints are back in the one seed and have everything go through New Orleans, which is huge, but I am out because the best team in the league right now is the same thing as the best team in the league all year. That team's from Kansas City, has the best record in the league, and had the most impressive win of any of these contending teams yesterday, holding off that great defense of the Baltimore Ravens. All right, yesterday, the Steelers traveled to Oakland and were handed an L by the Raiders. Pittsburgh has lost three straight games, putting their playoff hopes in question. CC, are you in or out on the Steelers still making the playoffs? I'm still in. I'm, I'm going to appropriate the same type of faith Knicks had with the Cavs over the last. Oh, they're okay. Oh, they'll be okay. Yeah, I believe they'll be okay. They got a tough schedule coming down, but I believe in Ben Roethlisberger, and I believe they'll get this corrected. They miss James Conner in yesterday's game. I'm wondering how long it's going to take for him to get back, but yes, I'm in. Much like the Cavs this year, the Steelers are not going to be okay. I am out. I, this is my preseason Super Bowl pick back-to-back -back years. They're going to make me look bad back-to-back -back years. I I don't think New England's going to lose consecutive games. So I think New England's going to win next week. That's going to put the Steelers in the muck at 7-6-1 and one, when it's not just Baltimore chasing them. The Dolphins, the Colts, the Titans are all 7-6, and six, all going for just one wild card spot because the Chargers have the other one locked up. So I think the Steelers' collapse continues. Yeah, you can't trust Lamar Jackson though, as the quarterback. Um, for, for Baltimore. I trust, it's fair, but I trust that defense a lot. That's a very good defense. I thought you were going to say you can't trust Nick. Oh, okay. you can't trust his uh, to, On to Pat Mahomes, who faced a tough test yesterday against an elite Ravens defense. Mahomes threw for 377 yards, two touchdowns, and he joins Dan Marino and Kurt Warner as the only first or second year quarterbacks with 40 touchdowns and 4,000 passing yards in a season. Both of those guys took home the MVP award when they did it. So, Nick, are you in or out on Mahomes as the front runner for the MVP. Oh, I'm in. To me, the only question remaining is will he be unanimous or not? The, he is he is widening his lead over Drew Brees. Drew Brees has had back-to-back -back two of his worst games of the year, while Pat Mahomes has two, had two of his most impressive performances of the year. I am absolutely in on this, see. Yeah, I'm in on Patty Mahomes. He's shown the consistency. He's playing at a different level. Than, than we thought that he could potentially play at later in the year. I like yesterday's game. It was cold. Still getting the type of productivity. Getting another win without Kareem Hunt being in the lineup. Yeah, all these things are true. I don't believe it's over with. 
there's still a lot of football left away, just like the Heisman Trophy. They thought that thing was wrapped up. Those last couple games proved to be totally different. So I'm just going to hold out just a couple weeks. I'm not, but you know, Nick, I'm not to jump at it. I'm going to take my time. But right, right now, now, yeah, that's what it's about. Right now, Patty Mahomes is the favorite. We have a crucial NFC matchup with playoff implications tonight as the Vikings face off against the Seahawks on Monday Night Football. The Seahawks are three and a half point favorites in this one. See, are you in or out on Seattle winning tonight? I'm going to be in uh, against my Vikings. And the reason why I didn't like the game plan the Vikings had last week going against New England, where they're just trying to rely on Stefan Diggs, Adam Thielen on the outside, didn't have a tight end um, participating in Kyle Rudolph, wasn't in the game plan. He's an effective the player, but since John Filippo has gotten there, hadn't taken advantage of his overall skills. Lack of a running game and a weak offensive line, I believe, leads to them losing tonight in Seattle. Uh, it, I'm out purely because the Vikings are the more desperate team. I know this game's on the road, but the Vikings had enormous expectations for this season after being the two seed last year. I did a game with a team that was desperate yesterday in Carolina. It's about how good the team is playing. You can't be wishing a team to play well right now. That's totally fair. But I also think the Vikings have been underperforming their talent level. If they don't win this game, it's really on the board. They missed the playoffs entirely. So for that reason, I am out. I think the Vikings get the big road win. He's trying to steal my stuff because a lot of times we, uh, he heard me tell some, hey, man, in the NFL, no. you got to look for which team is no, best. I never heard that. Like, which which team? I don't know. Is that's that's how he does on his radio shoot, too, Sarah. He steals <laughs> He's my smart. stuff. That's smart. What you no, mean? you can't steal my stuff in front of me. That ain't smart. <laughs> I'll get you punched in the nose. Oh, I can't punch you in the nose because you might bleed, bleed to death. Oh, bleed Coming to up. death. Oh, what big nose Rob joke. Doing on Never the heard that one. For the Dolphins Miracle Game winner. That is next on First what, Things see? First. Get some new material. I won't know your punch. Wait, lines. what's the bloody one? I didn't he 